So I guess we need to talk about this. 3.5 is arriving shortly and we're gonna be enjoying the event. We're gonna get our free Primo gems. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna be hitting up our Wind Balloon Festival mini games, playing with balloons in the library. But banners always seem to be a hot button issue. And now that we know what's on these banners and I'm not even talking about specifically Dea, I think these banners are probably a skip for most players of Genshin Impact. Now we have our banners here. We're gonna have Dea as well as Sino, Sino. Regardless of how many comments I get, I'm always gonna say it wrong. So we have Dea, who's someone I'm interested in. I want to be able to get in and play test with her, at least in the little demo showcase they give us. But we also have Bennett, Kali, as well as Barbara on the banner for both of 3.5's first banners. Whether you're going to be pulling on Dea or if you're going over here on Sino, these are the four stars on the banner. And while these characters aren't bad, there are some weird things about all of these characters being on this banner specifically. So first up is gonna be Dea. Now remember, she's gonna be added to the standard banner, which means two very important things. The least important thing is that you can pull her on the standard banner with your non-intertwined fate. However, the other one that's very important to realize about this is that every other banner going forward, if you lose that 50-50 on the Hydro Archon, you're gonna have the ability to get Dea there. She's gonna be able to be your 50-50 loss. Now, it's not a guaranteed thing. I know many people skipped the Tignari banner, still haven't gotten Tignari. Maybe skipped the Kaching banner way back in the day, like a year and a half ago or something, it feels like, still don't have access to Kaching. Just because she's available as an, a 50-50 loss later on doesn't mean you're gonna be gaining access to her. And like every other character in Genshin Impact, you should wait for you to get your hands on her, try her out in her own event, possibly maybe mess around with her in the training mode, test her out, see if she fits your play style. And like I said, I'm really looking forward to having access to this character, at least getting to test her out a little bit later this evening. But we need to talk about the three four stars on this banner as well. Notably, there is a character missing. Mika's not on these banners. If you were waiting for Mika to be on the Dea banner, try to get two new characters at the same time, that's not gonna happen for you. Apparently Mika's gonna be on the second half of the 3.5 banners with Ayaka as well as Shenhei. The three four stars we have here, Bennett, Kali, and Barbara. Now Bennett's one of the greatest four star support characters in the game, if not arguably the best one because he's in so many powerful teams. We all know how powerful Bennett is with his Elemental Burst Fantastic Voyage, being able to heal your team, give them giant attack boosts. And not only that, a lot of people forget that he actually will afflict you with Pyro as well. So if an enemy hits you with an elemental attack type, well, you can get rid of that elemental aura on your own character, which is amazing. He's got actually pretty good elemental particle generation as well because the cooldown on his E is just so low and he's very easy to build. So he's an absolutely amazing character, especially if you're brand new to Genshin Impact. Now, Barbara's also a pretty awesome character if you're new player. She also has access to a lot more teams now and she can actually be used as your main carry of sorts in these Dendro Bloom team. Build a full EM Barbara, do a bunch of stuff. She's not as broken as she used to be because uh, like six months ago, I feel like they changed how her elemental skill applying Hydro worked with Dendro elements, but she's still really good there. She's a fantastic character as well, especially if you're new and if you want to be using Barbara later on in teams that actually do insane stuff, instead of just being like, I have Barbara in my team because she heals, she's got a very solid role there as well in a Bloom team. The one downside though for Barbara being on this banner is you can also just get her for free. You can get Barbara for free. And she does all of this stuff at Constellation Zero perfectly fine. So you don't need to be pulling for extra Barbara Constellations if you want to use her as your healer, if you're a new player in Genshin, or if you want to use her in a Bloom team, you don't really need all of that. And Barbara can see you through very easily in the first, you know, beginnings of Genshin Impact as you start playing the game. Even up to like level 56, you just kind of leave her there. She's going to do good work for you there. You're gonna get one for free. So you don't really need to get another Barbara. And in fact, I want to use Barbara more on this account. Maybe I'll level her up on here because I do have the cool skin here. And we also have Coley on this banner as well. Dendru's still a fairly new element for a lot of players, especially returning players to Genshin impact. They don't really know a whole lot about Dendro as an element. Kali and Tegnari were some of the first ones with the Dendro Traveler being added. And then we've had more recent ones as well. And now we have Yao Yao in there as a Dendro healer. And then in 3.6, we know Baizu is going to be a Dendro character and Kove is going to be a Dendro character as well. We're going to get two more Dendro characters in 3.6. And Kali's nice. The thing about Kali though, for this banner, as far as banner value, is that Kali is also a free character you can get your hands on. And I think you might've even been able to get two Kali's for free if you were around for like the Sumeru event. And then I forget where the other one comes from. I almost wanna say Spiral Abyss. 
Well, that seems wrong, but it might be the Spiral Abyss. And with that being said, regardless of power, you already have a free character in Barbara on this banner a free character in Kali on this banner that you can gain access to. And I wanted to make that very apparent because veterans will know that, but new players will be like, oh, okay, I want a healer. I heard, you know, Bennett's really good. Barbara's really good because I watched this video from 2005 about how Barbara can heal your team to full with one, one, one button. Kali's cool because she's a new Dendro element. And they might not realize as a new player that you can get Barbara for free. You can get Kali for free. And then if you're not really into Dea, you can try to get her as a, a, a loss on your 50-50 in every future banner going forward in Genshin Impact. And that's just gonna leave our boy Bennett here as the one character on this banner right now between Dea, Kali, Bennett himself, as well as Barbara, that doesn't have some other way to access him, whether it's free like the two other four stars or maybe a character like Dea who you might not be interested in and is unique among most five-star characters in the fact that you can get her later on on any other banner. It's not guaranteed, and if you really like her, you should pull on the banner just to get Dea, but this banner alone is set up in a such a weird, weird way, where the five star, for once, you can just get later. Two of the four stars are free, none of the four stars are new, and it's just kind of Bennett the bait banner. Bennett the bait banner. Regardless, it's gonna be interesting. Make sure you get this news out there for anyone who doesn't know about this, especially if you have a new or returning player coming back to Genshin Impact and they don't know about free characters. As always, give someone a call today, even if it's just to say hi.